All right, the gearbox is going to be on pause for a little bit just because I'm waiting for a really small torque wrench to come in order to set some bearing tightnesses. So until then, I'm going to start working on taking the front subframe out. I have actually painted the gearbox as well, so it's all nice satin black. So here's the empty engine bay. What we're doing is we need to modify this black frame that is through here. We need to make a space here in order for the drive shaft to go back down that way. So we're gonna to have to modify it. So let's take this one out. We're gonna take that bottom frame out there. And do the power steering rack. Let's use this 19 mil socket. Doesn't budge. Time for some CRC. Get just a little bit of oil on there. That'll help. I decided I needed to jack the car up higher. But if you look under here, you can see what we're working with. We've got a nice big tunnel under there for the drive shaft. And if you look down the back there, you can see I've already made the rear differential and rear axles. It would appear that they've made this so that this power steering rack is easier to get out when the subframe is out of the car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna undo everything else. We're gonna drop the steering rack with the subframe and then we're gonna remove it. So we'll get the power steering stuff out of the way first. So this is all gonna get unbolted here and we'll drain this oil out. Now the power steering uh, rack has been drained of its fluids. And there's probably a little remaining bit in here. Let's see if we can pour that out too. Not in the concrete. Yep, cool. Now we'll undo the four bolts to hold the subframe in, and we'll try and drop the subframe. Well, in order to get to the two front bolts, we have to undo this pan or tray underneath here first. A whole bunch of 10 mil nuts there to be undone. Here's the guard tray and the corresponding nuts. And underneath there, without the guard tray on, Trying to get to this big sucker under here. There's another one on the other side too. There's the one on the back right hand corner. And the one on the back left hand corner is up there. Oh yeah, I think I mentioned before that that's definitely the most handy tool you'll ever buy. So I can rebuild the whole car with my left hand though. Don't forget to undo this bolt here, otherwise the steering wheel won't disconnect from the power steering rack and then it's not going to come out. The frame's almost off, literally just got to wiggle it off and then lower it down on the jack. And there it is, pretty much on the ground. Subframe removal, pull it out. Boom.